Going back to the middle of the week when yet one more significant snowstorm spun up out of eastern South Dakota and tracked across the Iowa-Minnesota border, adding to snow totals or creating new, the dark blue 6 to 12 inches. We've been having a tough time getting rid of our snow this winter. And as of middle of the week, there was still a lot of snow over the entire upper Midwest. Some bare spots, obviously, but it's really been hanging around. Now, a lot of this has melted. It is, after all, April. Most of the snowpack is retreating nicely to north of the jet stream, and just two things are happening at once. We're at that point in the spring now where even on a cloudy day, it's just really hard to keep snow from melting. Even on a cloudy, chilly day, there's going to be some melting just because of solar radiation. The other thing that's happening is the jet stream has finally retreated again, and it's starting to show some signs of ridging over the United States, which is allowing the warmer weather to expand. Now, there'll be some fronts from time to time, but generally speaking, the Northern Plains region will be warm enough to be rapidly melting whatever is left of any snow piles throughout the week. Minor setback late in the week, but it doesn't look like anything major. And notice the increase of this layer of warm temperatures across the United States. Now, that will build back in after a modest cool down. And I don't expect any real hot weather into the northern plains, but generally a lot more near average weather. And there will be those warm days from time to time down south. Parts of Texas will likely have several rounds of 90 degree temperatures, although it won't be consistently that warm. Note by the end of the two week period now, we're about the 5th of May, starting to see southwest to northeast flow in the northern plains. That could bring some wet weather back to the region, maybe some storms. Here's what we're looking at this week. There will be a few shower systems passing through, and some of this will be, most of this will be fairly light. Of course, any additional rainfall as we're trying to get the ground dried up and prepared for a field work is not necessarily what we'd like to see, but there are a few spots of the northern plains that could use a little bit of rain. Now, as we start to see the configuration of the jet stream change into the second week, we're going to begin to see the appearance of a southern jet that could potentially set up a stormy pattern for the really parched area of the southern plains. More significantly, this southwest to northeast flow will likely produce wet weather in the northern plains in early May. Now down south where we're talking about a chance of thunderstorms almost two weeks out, that is significant because this is really the most severe drought in the United States right now. So that's a situation that does bear watching. Western Dakotas are a little dry as well. The rainfall coming not likely enough to make any big changes there. So a late April turnaround. Finally, the weather is returning to average, hopefully to give us some planting weather by sometime soon.